Happy Thursday, Pastor Wayne here at the secondadam.com and the prophetshow.com. Thanks for being here with us, the prophetshow.com. Do me a favor, hit the share button, let someone know about this. I came to the Lord this morning and said, Lord, what would you have me share? What would you have me share? And the word that kept coming, it's come so so clear was peace that surpasses understanding. You're watching this for a reason. Either there's something that in your life right now that is not a place of peace. Either consciously or unconsciously, there's something that's been weighing you down. There's something that's been burdening you. And the Lord has you at this episode right now for a reason. I want you to listen to this. He said, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon me in the book of Isaiah. So it's like our mind stays upon the Lord. How do we stay up, I keep our mind upon the Lord? But he also says he will give us peace that surpasses, that goes above our understanding. I counsel and coach people from all over the world. And I want to say thank you to all of my, to all of my partners. Thank you for everyone that allows me to coach and minister into your life. But I want to also let you know, there's always this time where people say, well, Pastor Wayne, as a place, I just, I, I don't understand. I need to know why God allowed this. I want to know why this is happening in my life. I need to know this. And, and at the same time, they're saying, Pastor Wayne, I need peace. I need comfort. I need to know this is, this is God's will. And so when you look at those two and you look at them in a place of, of, of separation, Listen to me now. Then all of a sudden we find this this friction in our life. We find this doubt. We find unbelief. But if we'll say, listen, I don't understand, but I trust you, Lord. As we talked about before, Jesus, or yesterday, Jesus isn't doesn't have the answers. He is the answer. He doesn't have only solutions. He is the solution. Amen. But when we say, Lord, I don't understand why this happened, and we stay in a place of, of unrest about it, then we can't walk into peace and in fullness. Amen. God wants you to be in fullness today. He wants you to be in peace today. So here's what I want you to do. Say, Lord, I may not understand this. And see, I was I was actually coaching someone. I was actually coaching someone. And in the coaching session, the Holy Spirit spoke unto me. He said, they cannot find peace because they are demanding understanding. They cannot find peace because they are demanding an understanding. And the understanding wasn't for them yet. Their mind, their heart, their consciousness, it was their soulless realm was not in a place to receive the understanding. See, God is a great God. He is a huge God. Amen. He sees the beginning from the end. He knows things that we don't even we don't even know what we don't know. Amen. But he does. And there was a reason for what they were going through. He said, but I cannot give them the understanding of that their heart isn't ready for. So they are also forfeiting the peace. But if we'll say, Lord, I want the peace that goes above and beyond understanding. I want the peace that goes above what I don't understand. I don't understand this, Lord. Whatever you're going through today, can you say, Lord, I just want you to show Oh, I want your peace. I want to know that you're here with me, Lord. Then I don't have to understand that. The Lord also showed me that as people will surrender to the peace, that many times, many times the healing will come. Many times it will say, yes, Lord, I receive your peace. The heart will be aligned with the kingdom of God. And then they, then they can receive the understanding. My mother died when I was seven years old. A wonderful woman, wonderful woman. She died when I was seven years old. For many years, I questioned that. I don't understand, Lord. I don't understand, Lord. I don't understand. But I recognize, I recognize that he has given me peace that she is with him. He's given me peace, hallelujah, that he's still my provider, that he's everything that I need. He's everything that I need. How about you? Is he everything to you? Is he everything? Can you say, Lord, I'll receive the shalom, the peace. And if you want to give me understanding, that's great. But I'm more, more importantly, I want the peace that surpasses the need to understand. The, I want the peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what God has for you. He's got a purpose and destiny for you. He wants to move you into greatness. Amen. He wants to move you into a place of greatness because you are great. And I believe in you. I believe in you. I say this a lot, but I mean it. I believe in you. You watching this. I believe in you because I believe in the Jesus Christ that lives in you and through you and has purposed you. Amen for an eternal life with him. Wow. Guys, do me a favor. Hit the share button. Go to theprofitshow.com, theprofitshow.com if you haven't signed up yet. Help support this ministry. Help support us. Go to theofferingplate.com. This is how we support the ministry. It's how we, how we do what we do every day. So theofferingplate.com. 
with your tithes, love offerings. We really appreciate you on that. Guys, I'm here for you. I believe in you. Hit the share button and say, Lord, what it is to what is it today that I need peace in? That I surrender my need for understanding, my Lord. Give me peace. This is Pastor Wayne. God bless. Hey guys, Wayne sitting here at secondadam.com and theprofitshow.com. I want to thank you for your financial giving. We this month have partnered with another ministry. We partnered with another ministry to take and to support children that need medicine, over-the-counter prescription medicine, children that have many different diseases, respiratory issues, many of them that would die, would absolutely die without the medicine that we're going to be able to provide. We're going to be able to provide by partnering with another ministry and and bring the these life-changing medicines to the people at their time of need. Now, I believe in divine healing. I believe in praying for healing. But I also know that God has given us, He's given us this opportunity to help people. Again, children with respiratory issues, other diseases that literally could die without the medicine. And with over a hundred countries, we're able to reach the people. We're able to partner with the pharmaceutical programs, the pharmaceutical companies, other ministries, and get the medicine to them. I want you to know this month, this month in January, we're going to be able to provide over two uh, well approximately two thousand dollars two thousand dollars in medical and in, in medicine to children two thousand dollars worth of medicine over the counter and pharmaceutical medicine to children in need because of people like you so when you sow into the ministry when you give into the work of the lord i want you to know we're giving back out and i'm excited as we see how many we can give nate in fact i'd love to give four to six thousand dollars worth of medicine out in february so as you sow into the ministry god bless you we honor you we thank you and thank you the Lord for helping us connect with the other ministries, the pharmaceutical companies that make this possible. So again, from here at the second Adam, the prophet show.com, we honor you as a partner, as a faithful supporter. If you haven't decided to partner with us yet, you can go to the second Adam.com, the second Adam.com forward slash partner. And we honor you. You can also give a one-time gift at the God bless.